Hi guys, my name is Shannon, also known as UK Curly Girl. I am a business owner, I am a content creator, and I am here on YouTube to share with you guys all of my business gems that I have learned over the past eight years being online and starting a business and making money online and selling products as well. In this video, I'm going to go over the essentials, seven essentials that you need to start a business. So if you are thinking about starting a business or you have recently started a business and you just want to get an idea of what you should be doing, definitely stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's just get straight into it. So first things first, the priority should be to get your finances in check and make sure the back end of your business is legit and ready to go. Start off as you mean to go on in business. Trust me, you don't want to do things backwards like I have done in the past because it will chase up to you and you'll have to go back and do all of that extra work. With that being said, I do want to mention Awesome, who I've teamed up with, who have a special offer right now. For you to set up your limited company and open a bank account for just £12. So if you are interested in that offer, definitely check out the link in my bio and use the coupon code UKCurlyGirl100. Also with Awesome and something that I would recommend is thinking about getting an accountant. It may not be necessary when you are first starting off, but maybe if you've started to make a good amount of money, if you feel like you've made enough money to be able to do your tax return at the end of the tax year, you may want to really think about getting an accountant and Awesome also offer that. Awesome also have that service available to you guys too, so definitely check them out. Now the next one within this financial category is of course opening a business bank account. My business bank is Starling Bank. I will also leave a link to that down below. I really like the way that you can manage your finances within the Starling app. So you have different pots. So I like to separate my income, my business income, using the profit first method, which is a book I highly recommend to new business owners. So I make sure that I separate my taxes, I separate my operating expenses, my profit, and also I separate the money that I would pay myself as well with. So you wanna make sure that you, you know, take advantage of tools like Starling. I know other banks probably do have a similar system where you can put your money into pots, but it's definitely, you know, something that you wanna make sure you do. And that is having a business bank account, separating your finances, and making sure that you're saving aside for tax. If you want more advice on like the financial side and how I manage my finances, definitely check out one of my recent videos which covers all of this. The so next up is you want to have a professional name and within that you have to actually set up a domain name. So for example, I came up with the idea of Oh So Curly as my name. I then actually got a domain name from GoDaddy, which is basically like the website. So when you type in www.osocurly.com, that is my website. I own that website name, I think you would call it, domain basically. So you could have www.osocurly.co.uk or .com or .uk. On GoDaddy, there are a ton of different options that you can purchase and you basically rent it for like a year or two years. And at the end of that period, you can renew it as well. So definitely something you want to do because you don't want to have the myshopify.osocurly.com. It is something that you can have in the beginning, but I will say that it doesn't make you look as legit and professional. And I would kind of feel like if I was shopping on a site that had like myshopify.osocurly.com, I'd feel like you are a newer business and I'm not sure if I can trust or maybe I want to wait a while until like more customers have shopped with you just in case like this is a brand new business and things aren't set in order so if you want to start off looking professional I would recommend purchasing a domain name they're not very expensive at all along with that you may want to also get a business address so that you don't have to share your personal address on emails or on your website. So this is something that you don't again have to do straight away, but something you may want to think about. So I do have also a video that talks through different options and ways for you to get your own business address. And the last thing within this section is you may want to register your business name, trademark your business name and trademark your business logo. And that is something that you can also do 
via the government website. Link also to the video which covers how you do that too. Now the next essential is signing up and opening your store with Shopify. I have preached Shopify to you guys for years now. It is the best platform that I have used and I know a lot of other entrepreneurs use and love to manage their online store. The back end is amazing. I love the design of it, the ease of use. They have really good analytics too and great apps that you can add on to really help you increase your sales. I do have a video that covers all of the apps that I would recommend you download in. And I just love Shopify. I mean, you can check out my past videos on Shopify. I don't have to get too deep into it. But I would recommend Shopify over all of the other online store platforms point blank period now the next essential is signing up to an email marketing platform like mailchimp clavio um i know there are a lot of other ones i haven't personally used myself i've only used mailchimp and clavio clavio is very advanced and quite expensive so that would be for you later down the line mailchimp has really good cheaper options and even a free option if you have a certain amount of subscribers also via Shopify, Shopify have their own email marketing too. So you just wanna sign up for that so that you can start gathering people's email addresses so that you can remarket to them, whether that is with abandoned cart emails, whether it is with sale emails, if you wanna just update them on how your business is doing, definitely make sure that you sign up for an email marketing platform because email marketing is pretty slept on, but it's another great avenue for you to get in the sales alongside with social media. Now the next essentials for starting your small business is to have a Canva account. Now Canva is free or you can get the pro account. I have used Canva for free for years, but I love this because within Canva, it is like the beginner's guide to Photoshop. Now, I never got to learn graphic design. I really wish I did because it is such a great skill and one that's really, really needed within any kind of business or social media industry. But thankfully, websites like Canva have kind of bridged the gap between those who are graphic designers and everyday people like me who need to create graphics but have no idea how to use Photoshop. So Canva pretty much saved our lives with that. And within Canva, they have amazing templates for social media posts, for stories, for YouTube thumbnails, for um, flyers, for anything you can think of. Canva has really nice templates for you to build upon and for you to create your graphics for social media, website banners, email graphics, everything is within Canva and it is a program and website that I use on a regular basis and I haven't been able to live without it because I pretty much create all of my graphics for both my personal UK Curly Girl um, business and also my product business oh so curly so canva if you haven't ever checked it out or used it i would really recommend that you get yourself a canva account now the next is more of the technical side of your small business and that of course is going to be getting yourself a printer or a label printer now I would recommend a label printer. I know it is a bit more of an investment than a normal printer, but it's gonna save you so much time and effort because it prints out on the sticker paper already. So you don't have to buy the sticker paper and then, or cut out your address labels and have to stick them on with sellotape, which I've been through. <laughs> it just makes life so much easier. It is the correct size for your parcels and your packages. And also a lot of them are thermal printed. Um, so that means that you don't have to keep buying ink over and over again. And ink guys, that became quite a large expense for me. So investing more upfront in a label printer worked really, really well for me because I saved money on ink and I saved time, which again is saving money, time is money. So if a label printer like the Dymo or there are also really great ones like the Zebra and also the, I'm gonna leave the word on the screen. I f always forget how to actually pronounce it so I'm going to leave the word here but those brands do really good label printers I personally have the Dymo printer the 4XL and it's done me very well I've been using this for the past maybe three years now and I've not had any issues 
So definitely, if you can, invest in a label printer. Along with that, you will want to get a scale. You could get these easily on Amazon for quite cheap, and that will just help you to weigh your parcels so that when you are filling out your forms to create your printing labels and your postage, you can actually have the correct weight so that when you get to the post office, you don't have to pay extra because you kind of guess what the weight was. Get yourself a scale and save you again time and money. Along with that on Amazon, you can purchase your poly bags, your boxes, and also your bubble wrap if you need bubble wrap or if you need peanuts too. All of those supplies are pretty much on eBay, Amazon, or there are independent shops that you can buy from as well. I do have a video that shares where I get all of my packaging supplies from. So again, I will leave that down below too. Now the last, but probably the most important thing that I wanna mention and is essential for small business owners when you are first starting is your mindset. Now, if I didn't get my mindset right in the beginning, I would have found it so hard to get through the hard, difficult times when you're getting no sales in, when you're getting bad feedback, when you just are finding it really hard to stay motivated. And um, my mindset and my personal development tools have really helped me and helped me to keep going. So some that I would recommend is reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to motivational videos and interviews on YouTube, all you have to do is type in motivation or business motivation and you will find such a, a whole new world. I never knew this world existed until I found out in 2018 and I came across amazing motivators and speakers like Eric Thomas, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Mel Gibbons I think it is. There are just so many amazing speakers and people out there that are motivating on a daily basis. And let's be honest, being a business owner is not easy and it is not for the weak. So you will need at some point a boost to keep you going. And that's where your like mentors online come in really handy. I'll leave a link down below to my favorite podcasts and my favorite books and stuff that I like to read that have helped me during the down times as a business owner. So those are my seven essentials for starting a small business. I hope those helped. Definitely let me know down below what small business you are currently running or thinking about starting. I love to hear where everyone is from and what kind of businesses they are doing. If you like this content, make sure you check out these two videos here and definitely subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.